It was business as usual at DCM today. A multi-million dollar Toronto-based beauty brand that closed all of its stores this week amid allegations of criminal activity. Well, today they reopened as if nothing had ever happened. Despite the behind-the-scenes drama, Dacian was bustling when it reopened today. Shoppers packing the store, in some cases because of the closures earlier this week. There was a lot of chatter um, with the stories going on with this brand, so I wanted to pop in and see what was going on and what it was all about. The Toronto-based company briefly shut its doors after the founder posted this bizarre rant on Instagram, alleging widespread criminal activity within the company. We will shut down all operations until further notice. Almost everyone at the SEM has been involved in a major criminal activity, which includes financial crimes and much other. You have no idea what a soldier I've been for more than 13 years. I've been made fun of. Brandon Truax started the company in 2013. This year, it exploded in popularity. The business reportedly selling $300 million worth of products, making plans to expand around the globe, even partnering up with Estee Lauder, which now holds a one-third stake in the business. It's because I've requested for you to call the police. But Truax has developed an unusual reputation over the years, often posting nonsensical videos and odd photos to the company's Instagram page, writing unpredictable messages on behalf of the brand. Announcing the store closures was the last straw. Estee Lauder winning an Ontario court ruling to oust Truax and reopen the stores. The lawyer representing Estee Lauder explaining Truax's behaviour led to numerous legal concerns. But most people shopping today were blissfully unaware of any of these recent developments. Does hearing stuff like this affect uh, your decision making as a consumer? Uh, it can. Um... I, I don't know. It's funny that uh, hearing about this after coming out of the store because uh, I, I don't know if it would have actually changed my experience in the store at all. You know, uh, again, I have to emphasize that the, the folks that are working there don't seem to be impacted by. It. Curious to come back, but also uh, interested to see what all of the pitfall from what's going on is going to be. We reached out to both DCM and Estee Lauder, but neither company returned our request for comment before airtime. For City News, I'm Tini Azdani.